firefight. Defend this area at all Hi, I'm Lars Bakken, uh, senior designer at Bungie. Uh, Sage Merrill, senior sandbox designer. Josh Hamrick, sandbox designer. Mike Tipple, mission designer. So today we're going to play a little firefight on a uh, waterfront. Wow, it is really hard to talk and play. <laughs> yeah. Time. I died just I trying to listen to you, so. <laughs> it's because Heroic is legit these days. I'm dead. I remember looking at, like, we going back to this particular area. I remember looking at this area pretty early on and thinking it's... When I first looked at this, like this was one of the early maps, but um, aside from Overlook, that I remember looking at in the campaign and saying, this is going to be a really cool firefight space because yeah. um, w one, one thing that was completely different about this space from the others is that it, it actually, um, you get surrounded by yep. the Covenant in this one, which I remember, I know Tipple and I talked about that way, way back in the day. And, and I remember... It just plays very different from the other maps because you're not, you have an area that you're holding, but that area you're holding is is completely surrounded. And right. when you look at the Covenant being dropped off, they actually drop off in 360 degrees around you, which, right. is, which is pretty cool. Yeah, when Cotton and I were uh, making it, one of the uh, encounters we were kind of going after was the, uh, the Mast encounter Ow. from Halo 1. Oh, awesome. Which was... Second mission of the game, the first, like right before you get the first warthog. Where you have to a defend the dudes. marines, right? Exactly. Yeah. Like, and yep. you can see a lot of the same kind of stuff in, in terms of like the geometry, the choke points, and and that general feeling of oh my god, we're surrounded. What are we going to do now? Oh, the other crazy thing about this space is this entire mission takes place above the oh next mission, which is the tip of the spear. So like you can start seeing like little references to tip of the spear in this mission, like this lake that we're on. If you were allowed to go to the, from one end of the lake to another, um, you would go over a waterfall that ends up outside the facility in Tip of the Spear. Huh. And then on the last space, the, the cliffside space, there's like a broken bridge that got wasted by the Covenant. Uh, it's right where you start on Tip of the Spear. Like you can see like the fallen rubble like yeah, in front of you on that That's mission. That's awesome. I, had no yeah, I didn't realize that either. Yeah, because these missions used to be the same map. They used to be the same mission. So. Before we got a little bit crazy with cotton and started making this mission bigger, <laughs> oh, it was God. all on the same geometry. King oh. of the crazy. Indeed. One thing I was thinking about when I'm shooting these guys. Yeah, for a while I had made um, the majority of the grunts. <laughs> uh, I think I know where you're going with this. <laughs> <laughs> I believe I entered a bug. <laughs> yes, I believe Lars may have entered a bug. So anyway, the artist had redone the, all the grunts and they looked awesome. Um, and I was going through and setting up the damage, and so I had set them up so Fair that, plan. you know, you had to blow off their little face masks before you can headshot them. Well, it turns out that, that was like 80% of them. And so Lars entered the bug that was like, change them all so that they're one headshot, and I think I... Yeah, I remember, wa I remember walking nice. over to Sage and being like, hey, man, this is like really not fun because the grunts <laughs> are very hard to take out now and normally the grunts were you know they, they show up they're fodder they're really fun to fight they can be really deadly if they show up with the correct weapons you know with flat cannons or right. catches on uh, and all of a sudden we had turned them into this like an actual it was very different thing. anyway i resolved the bug but i didn't as you'll see when you play the game i did not make them all correct one headshot and we, we talked about that, that which is good I, I mean i actually am really happy with with what we ended doing. So I'm getting screwed over Consider here in this building, by the way. <laughs> Anyone have a drop shield? <laughs> I don't know what's shooting at me, but something with concussion, maybe? Oh, no. It's a phantom. Oh, why don't we talk the about phantom. the phantom guns, Sage? <laughs> yeah, phantom. talk about the phantom guns. Yeah, the guns of actually, doom. I was just like, man, this thing needs to be a little bit beefier. And, <clears throat> you know, again with the... Uh, I mean, it's always surprising how big of a difference in the sort of feel of... The game, um, nice work. You know, you think, from designer, you think, oh, it's all you know, the actual damage that does whatever. No, actually, that has very little to do with it. It's the the effects and audio make such a big difference in the perception of danger um, that even not changing the actual damage, um, but having new new effects and audio, everyone freaked out. You know, they're like, what happened to the? F and I'm like. Well, it's a giant dropship. You should be scared of it. Run away. I, yeah. And so, you know, I mean, there was, 
some agreement, but I probably put it in a little bit too strong. I think a it's little fine. Bit. Actually, no, no. I, I actually will go down on record saying I think it's awesome because it is the, for the, sure. The, now. the drop ships yeah. now suppress you, and and yeah, you're scared when they show up. You're like, okay, I should be not on this roof right now. Yeah, because that's a bad I spot. Am scared about what this thing is gonna do to me. Right. You're scared. You move. You know. You move away. They they suppress you some, but they don't. They also don't instantly kill you. Um, and I, and like I it felt like they were doing before. Can someone what's, kill what's that up? sniper? Yeah. And if anyone uh, wonders where I got the idea for the legendary snipers in this encounter, uh, it's firefight. Nice. Yeah. <laughs> I saw these guys in here like last minute. I'm like, oh my god, that's evil. I'm totally <laughs> putting it awesome. <laughs> <laughs> was that it? the and then Tipple called me over and didn't tell me what was happening just to get me to scream like a girl. <laughs> <laughs> like, it had to be like one in the morning. Least, oh god, <laughs> it was the scariest thing ever. <laughs> I was like, what? There's nobody in here. And then I started getting fried. Yeah. I, well, originally those snipers up on the cliff. Actually, there's had, a hunter standing right behind me. They had needle rifles, and I remember people being like, "What the f is going on? I'm getting hit, and I don't." And I'm like, "You know what? I'll solve that." Oh, is oh, giving them. Do you see that? Focus rifles. Help. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of dudes in that room with you. <laughs> Thank you, Tom. <laughs> right on. Oh God. Oh. I'm still gonna get bodies. killed. Oh, oh yeah, I'm in the bed. Oh, yeah, what are you doing me. over there? <laughs> Getting killed and what, what I just said. Yeah. The, so we hope you guys enjoyed watching us play horribly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we're a little bit rusty, but don't judge us. Insights, I think, on uh, some some, cool. some fun facts, some yeah. insights, some yeah, a few things we covered. But yeah, the game obviously coming out soon. We're all super excited. Yeah, I can't wait to play it online with you guys. Absolutely. Yeah, exactly. See the fourteenth. Objective compromised and under covenant control. Game over.